Hi, and welcome. I recently did a cohort analysis for an online retail shop. A cohort is a group of people that have common characteristics. So a cohort analysis would be grouping different parts of a data set together and analyzing each cohort that you create. Cohorts can be based on their size or a date or some other common variable. In this case, we want to understand the shopping behavior of customers on our website, specifically the frequency and pattern of their repeat purchases. So if we group customers together in time-based cohorts, we can answer the business question, what is the customer retention rate for this online gift shop? The data set that I'm using is from UCI's Machine Learning Repository, and it details a year's worth of invoices from an online retail shop in the UK. You can see that the products are different gift items, all up and down here. For data cleaning, I use SQL and clean the data, removing duplicates and missing values. If the quantity or unit price was a negative number, that would mean that the item was returned and would not be a part of our analysis. So, after beginning with about 542,000 rows of data, I ended up with approximately 393 clean records to analyze. We have the activity for 13 months, December 2010 to December 2011, and um, I only have room for just a small portion of them here for an example. But to begin the cohort analysis, I wanted to divide the customers into groups based on their purchase dates. The initial date would be the first date a customer initiated a transaction on our website. For example, you can see here that the first seven rows is the same customer ID. That means this person made a large order on December 1st. In order to place them in a cohort, the code would look for that unique customer ID again on the next date that it appeared. So if the customer retention or the repeat activity was recorded on a different day in the same month, that would, be placed, that would place this customer in cohort one. If they didn't appear again until three months after this first purchase, they would be in cohort three and so on. After the cohort analysis that was done in SQL, I visualized it in Tableau and this is how it ends up looking. The numbers across the top of this chart right here are the co cohort index, which is a representation of the number of months that have passed since the customer's first purchase. So if there were repeat transactions in the same month as the first transaction, they're in cohort one, or if it's not until month four, then they're in cohort four and so on. You can see that the customer IDs contained in the cohort at the top of this chart would have the greatest frequency and the greatest numbers of repeat purchases. That's what's known as the greatest lifetime value to the company and important information to have about individual customer IDs. In the second chart, these numbers have been converted to ratios, so we can get a true customer retention rate for each cohort, which was the original business question. For instance, down here in November, out of 323 purchases in the first month, 36 customers came back the next month for another transaction. That would mean that that's 11% retention rate. I hope this all makes sense to you. This was my first cohort analysis, and if you want to see the SQL code, you can look at it on my GitHub, which I'll leave a link to. But otherwise, thanks for listening, and let me know if you have any feedback.